they need me on the outside school, but you know, at that time, it's, you know, just showcasing, you know, not just saying limiting myself down the cornerback, you know, being able, being able and open, you know, to play in any position, safety, nickel, corner, guy, you know, whatever organization needs to play. You know, throughout the Senior Bowl, I feel like that was a start for me, you know, for teams to see that, you know, see me move it, you know, not just on the outside, but inside as well, and also, you know, track the ball. Post as well, so. Have they followed up with you on that? I mean, has that led to conversations? They have. They have. You know, a lot of teams are talking to me about, you know, like I said, it's not limiting me to saying I'm a cornerback. You know, you never want to just limit yourself to saying, oh, you have one responsibility you or, or you only play one position. You know, being open, being open, being flexible to move around throughout the defense, you know, whatever helps to make the defense better. You know, I'm open towards it, I'm open to do it, and I've showcased that I can do it. So, I mean, like I said, whatever system I end up in, wherever I go, I'm pretty sure I have that flexibility, or they'll, you know, give me that flexibility to move inside. Some of the teams you had the most conversations with, whether it was today. Was it teams or East teams? Teams, yeah, they've had most conversations. Uh, for the most part, you know, I, I started with the Senior Bowl, so I pretty much got to talk to all 32. Um, at the com at the combine, it kind of settled down because it was more, you know, more formal meetings. Um, my formal meetings were with the uh, Broncos, uh, Chiefs. Patriots, Baltimore, and um, the Rams. Um, so that you know, you have your like your set formal times for those meetings. You can't get everything. So I mean, you know, it was great to sit down with those organizations and have the opportunity to talk to those guys. Um, but those are the teams that I talked to for the formal meetings. But I've talked to all three teams. Ken, okay, was there any word, you know, when you got injured, like you had been rated pretty high, mm -hmm. to get back to where now the team are still respecting you is the same? Was there any worry that, that might not get to that? Point? Not at all. Not at all. You know, taking one day at a time. Um, my, my, my biggest thing is, you know, not just shutting myself down. Um, I still stayed around the team throughout the season. You know, I was injured early in the year. I um, was at all the practices, all the games, you know, traveled with the team, did everything with the team. You know, still staying engaged, still staying around ball. That's, that's what I love. You know, I've been doing it, you know, since I was four years old. And, um, you know, it can't keep me away for long. You know I mean, even a little injury like that, um, able to come back and, you know, just continue to do the same things that, I, you know, I enjoy doing for the longest. Like I said, just take it one day at a time and, you know, let everything else happen after that. Kim, did teams compliment you on you coming back as opposed to maybe shutting it down? They do. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that just shows my love for the game. Um, you know, it, it's, I didn't really do it for, you know, compliments. You know, that you get those, you know, that's just a part of it, you know, you know but um, just a sacrifice that, you know, I went through not, not just my last year, but my four years, you know, with those guys, you know, being out there with those guys each and every day going through spring, going through summer, going through camp, I'm sorry, um, then the season, you know, it's just that grind. Um, any any chance I can be out there on the field with those guys, you know, whether I'm, you know, 100%, whether I'm 1%, you know, at my lowest, you know, I'm going to be out there for those guys because they sacrifice not just so much for themselves, but for me as well. So, just and had the opportunity. How is it going through with all these guys out here now knowing that the program's gotten to where is tracking this many and this many your high level mm -hmm. graphics. How was it to be out here with them today? It's been great. It's been great. You know, like I said, just that, that work that we put in, you know, our, over our course of time being here, you know, the blood, sweat and tears and you know that some people don't see and you only see the result out there on, on, on the weekends on game day. You know, you don't see the things that they've done, you know, leading up until that point, you know, and now they're getting the opportunity to showcase that, you know, show, showcase the type of person they are, you know, their people skills and then just talking ball and just doing what they love to do. And I think that's the biggest thing for a lot of guys, especially the younger guys, you know, Barnett, you know, Malone, um, for those guys as well. Um, the younger guys out of the, out of the class coming out is very big for them. Um, you know, just, like I said, to showcase that, and, you know, their personality and who they are overall. You so mentioned when you guys back on the time at DC. It was great. You know, um, simply great. And, uh, 